All right, so this is a getting started with the M8, the mate, the, the tracker boy. Um, and uh, this is going to cover like the absolute basics, getting started, navigating around. And so, yeah, let's start at the very tippy top with a whole bunch of noise. Let's turn that bad boy on. And we're going to be greeted with the song view. Now, the song view is where you make your song. You can navigate around with the arrow keys, and um, this has a ton of really useful information. Uh, you've got your uh, note preview down the side here, and for all the tracks, um, you know, your battery, your tempo, and um, something that's incredibly important here is this little mini map down here. Um, this is always going to show you where you are in the M8 architecture. And uh, this is going to be incredibly helpful at first um, for navigating and getting a workflow going. So, as we can see on our little mini map, we got places to go, things to do. So, let's start by hitting my button. By the way, I'm going to keep calling this shift, but it says select on mine because this is a beta unit. So, we're going to hit shift up, and that's going to take us to the project view. See how it says? project right up there um this is where you're going to have access to you know your tempo your midi mapping um your song naming your loading saving rendering bundling all that good stuff you can also edit the theme in here um themes are a lot of fun to play with uh, let's let's show off some themes it's the soft theme you know um i would really recommend to uh play around and make your own cool fun themes Another thing I would really recommend right away, first thing, <laughs> is uh, put a name for your song. The M8 has an amazing autosave functionality. Like if you power it down, it'll power right back up right where you left off. Um, but I found that it works a little bit better if you throw a name in there. Um, yeah, so, you know, let's get started. Throw a name in there, set your tempo, and um, you're ready to rock. And you'll also see here on this mini map, we're up in the project screen. So if we go shift down, we're back in the song view. If we go shift down one more time, we're in the mixer view. So the, uh, the mixer view is home to, of course, your levels here. Uh, just real quick tip. I usually um, don't hop into the mixer view until I'm ready to mix or m mixing. Um, I usually change my volume levels like in the instruments so that if I'm changing instruments per track, I can go and, um, you know, uh, yeah. Um, we'll get into some of that more weird stuff later, maybe in another video. Um, but also right up here, you've got your limiter controls, your DJ filter. You've also got um, your effects levels as well as your uh, external input level and effects for that and the USB input and effects for that which is super duper cool you can actually record um, from the USB bus um, you can apply effects to all that stuff and it's bi-directional too so you can have outgoing and incoming at the same darn time which is super duper awesome especially if you've got one of these little camera connection kits for your um, iPhone you can uh, you can record anything right in there um, and when you want to make you know cool Instagram videos pop 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 that out you get direct audio it's fucking sick um okay <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the mixer view uh, if we go shift down one more time uh, we're gonna be in the effects settings um, so you know you've got your chorus your delay your reverb settings um, I would play around with these a little bit, get a little deal going, a little, um, you know, a uh, pattern or something and start exploring how these reverb, uh, and delay settings sound. I, the chorus is especially thick and juicy. The reverb for being a digital reverb that's like sitting on a teensy, this thing can just absolutely, you can milk it for some delicious sounds, some really cool tones. Try like modulating the time. Oh my God. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to ruin that for you. Uh, go and explore on your own. Um, so let's also take a look here. See, little mini map down in the FX section. So we're going to go shift up, back to the mixer, shift up, back to the song. I got some junk in here, um, but uh, let's go ahead and make our first chain. So if you hit 
edit, it's going to pop in the last thing that you copied or just, you know, zero, zero. Um, so if we hit shift and right, we can go into that chain and lo and behold, there's uh, there's actually some stuff in here. And that's because I typically use uh, zero, zero and FF as uh, empty chains or and with empty phrases, you know? So like if you need a space between, I mean, it's, it's just empty and you know, you can always go. And so like, for instance, I use zero, zero as like, four bars of basically like nothing and then you know on ff i'll probably put a uh, note kill message so it ki it kills the note so if you've got any like sampler loops or or like sustained pads or whatever it'll just cut those um so now we're going to use one of the most important little quick shortcuts available on the m8 um so also delete those top two buttons right there option and edit um, so we're going to hit edit, make another little thing, and then we're going to double tap edit. And what that does is it pops us to the nearest available empty whatever. This functionality is echoed throughout the um, entire uh, system of the M8. So if you need like a new instrument, pop, pop, double tap that edit button's first empty one. Uh, so yeah, so now that we've got this empty chain here, we're going to just use that exact same deal again, pop, pop, and get a phrase in there. And then we can pop into the phrase, see that. Um, but let's go back here for a sec. Um, and just a quick bit of housekeeping and some stuff you might um, now notice if we keep, you know, we're going to add in some uh, blank chains here and you'll notice that when I get to 9 it doesn't go to 10 it goes to 0a and that is because the m8 has all of its values for the most part in hex and I'm not gonna try to explain hex here uh, because I don't have a uh, competent enough grasp to do that but what I will tell you what you need to know is is it's just a way of counting that uh, goes from uh, 0 to 16 and it does that by going you can actually see it right here look it's it's everything you need to know so it goes you know 0 to 9 and then a through F so if you're sitting here with values um, you know you'll see that it'll go F and then it'll go 1 0 um, so you know that's a pretty important thing to kind of have grasp over but it is actually incredibly helpful because instead of um, values like uh, 0 to 10 or things of that nature. It's it's very musically divisible um, having all your values be uh, like of 16 or 8 so on and so forth. It makes for like a lot of really easy like rhythmic divisions fun jazz. So <laughs> this is our chain and a chain is a string of phrases and a phrase is where you um, don't have stuff in it is where you can input your notes here so you know if we put a note in there it'll be c4 um your velocity here is really kind of just like a volume uh thing you know but it's also velocity so you can do whatever you want with that your instrument here is what instrument you have selected you can have a ton of instruments um if we double tap there it'll bring us to the newest empty instrument and uh, then you've got your effects settings here so um, you've got a lot of effects that are available uh, this will fill up and so will this as soon as we put an instrument on there but um, play around with the effects I'm not gonna spoil all the fun for you maybe we'll do a effects video next um but yeah uh, so Let's just review here and take a look at our mini map. Um, we were on the song view. We made a new chain and then we went into that chain. We made some phrases and then we went into the first phrase and made a instrument. And something else I want to point out really quick here is you'll notice that from the phrase view, you can get to the mixer very quickly by just going down. You can also get to your groove view from the phrase view. But if you need to edit the project, it's actually right above the chain as well. Um, so yeah, we will uh, we'll talk about the groove view. Um, probably not in this video either. Because, uh, yeah, that thing is pretty wild. Um, so now that we've got our phrase, we're reviewed, we know where we are. 
Um, let's go and, um, excuse me, shift edit into our instrument here. So now that we're in our instrument, we can select one. We got the wave synth, which is like a wave table, um, 8-bit synth, the macro synth, which is braids, um, the sampler, incredibly powerful, and the FM synth, which is just ripping. Love this thing. So uh, if we go uh, one more over again, gosh darn it. <laughs> If we go one more over again, we'll also have the MIDI out. Um, now this is incredibly powerful as well. Uh, you can control just about anything with MIDI and the Mate, and uh, you have access to tables and automation and all those effects as well. So this thing is a MIDI powerhouse. Um, but for this instance here, let's just uh, let's put a macro synth in there. Let's go uh, something that's going to be really easy to demonstrate. Let's uh, oh, like a wave table. Where's that wave table? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So talking a lot, talking real fast. <laughs> okay. So on our instrument page right here, the instrument view, you will notice that this right side here is always going to be the same. No matter what we do, if we change the instrument, the right side is always going to be the same. It's going to be where we find our amp settings, our effects settings, all that good stuff, distortion. Um, but only the left is going to change here. Those are your, uh, your instrument specific settings. So let's get back over here and uh, get back to this wavetable. And we got a note in here and we can just hit play. And we're going to hear our beautiful wavetable. Um, and you might notice that it's just going because this is a braids oscillator and the way the the wave synth is, is a wavetable oscillator as well. So you hit play, it's, it's just going to go change the note here it'll update you know put a new note in here um yeah and uh it sounds terrible <laughs> so uh because it's just droning it's not that it sounds terrible it sounds great actually um so let's go into this view here and let's continue exploring our views by going up into the envelope view now, the envelope view is where you got your two envelopes, your two LFOs, and uh, it's just fun on a bun. So let's assign um, one envelope to volume. Turn that decay down. This actually sounds terrible. Okay, there, um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> So now that we are, you know, we've got a stupid little dinky deal going here, um, you can start to edit the parameters. Um, now you can go up or down with the edit button here. You can also hold the edit button and touch the screen, which is pretty dang cool. Um, and that's just gonna, you know quickly make editing very very tactile uh if you hold option and touch the screen you'll see it as an assigned mini map and that means you've assigned that as a automatable thing here if you accidentally do that and you don't want to do that just double click that cleared mini map right okay so you know you've got a filter in here some resonance You've got a little bit of destruction. That's all pretty cool. And then you've also got over here this amp. Now, this thing fucking rocks. It's your distortion, sinusoidal, wave folding, wave wrapping, post distortion. We're not getting like too much freaking nastiness here because going into my audio interface um but this thing's absolutely wild let me tell you panning your dry volume your chorus listen how good that sounds dang um you got this ping pong delay
All right. So yeah, as you can see, very powerful, very fun. Um, continuing along on our overview. If we go over, oh, excuse me, over. All right, and continuing a little long on our overview here, we are gonna just do a quick recap. So, shift, back, 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 song view. Up, project, down, mixer, right? So we go into our chain, bam, chain. Here it is, here's our chain. This is a different chain, um, you know, whatever. Uh, whoopsie daisy, we hit down, I accidentally went to the mixer. So let's go into our phrase. And then from our phrase into our instrument, right? We can see all that right down there. Up, up, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, we can go up into our envelopes. We can go down, down into our mixer again. And so now let's do it. Let's go over into the tables. So the tables are like your per note modulation. They're incredibly powerful. I'm not going to go too deep into tables right now. Um, but the thing you should know about tables is you're going to want to really experiment with this tick um, command here. What this does is, is it allows you to change the speed with which these lanes operate. Um, they'll update every time that a new note gets played. So, you know, tick zero zero means that every time it gets a note, it's gonna, you know, do this. You can do transposition here. Um, you can do all sorts of really, really cool effects in the, uh, table zone. Um, but, you know, we'll probably go into that in a, another video as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the overview of navigating around in the M8 view. I did not talk about the groove view because I don't really understand the groove view. I'm not good at it. So, uh, maybe we'll cover that again or cover it at a different time here. Okay. And that is every view in the M8. I'm not going to, you know, really spoil too much more. Talk about the instruments in this video because I feel like you should uh, should go play with this stuff. You should really dig your teeth into what this device has to offer because it's not just a badass digitact that uh, you know fits in the si size of your hand. Um, it's got some really powerful synthesis in here and some really, really interesting ways to modulate things with tables, um, random seeding, and chants, and nth commands. Um, this thing is super duper fun and very inspiring. So go play around with it and uh, we'll check back for some more 